Hey, how's it going? So this is part three of setting up the Octobot. So in the previous video, we went over launching the bot or deploying the bot for the very first time. What I've done is I've just clicked on insights on my digital ocean page. So I've just clicked on insights and I can see here that when it started up, Octobot CPU was running at about 9%. Now it's flatlined to zero. Nothing's really happening. And the memory is at around 40, 44, 46%. So that's perfectly fine. That's why the $5 a month um, package is perfectly fine. If you do find that the CPU is bottlenecking or the memory is bottlenecking, you just upgrade to the $10 a month package. Um, and then you can just carry on going. Um, so I'll change back to overview and okay. So now we're going to go to the Octobot itself. So that is the that is the link that we saw in the previous one. So if I click on that, uh, I've actually already got it open here at the top. Um, and here it is loading up. When it is online, it shows you this little tick. Don't worry too much about, at the moment, it shows me my profitability is 0 0.7, 0.57%. Um, and my traded symbols is 0.577%. I'm not going to worry too much about that because I'm currently in a simulated trading mode. So that's just if I were to be trading on Bitcoin USDT, because that's what it's busy watching. So if I were to be trading on Bitcoin USDT, then it would be, um, it would have made me a 0.4%. Well, the market would have made a 0.45% loss. Um, at the moment, it doesn't actually show you, show me that I would have made, uh, oh, yeah, I, I would have made a uh, slightly less loss than that. Anyway, so the first thing I want to show is the community. So that's at the top far right hand side, community. Uh, it's just busy. There we go. Bring it up. Okay. So, this shows what everybody else in the community has set their bot up to run as, okay? So on the left-hand side, we've got the top community trading pairs. So most people are trading between Bitcoin and USD Tether, and most people are trading on a double moving average trend evaluator. So very big words. All it really is, is if I were to go to my profile, let's do that over here. I go to my profile and then these are my trading modes, okay? So where is my double moving average? Do I have a double moving average? Uh, I'm not actually seeing it. So it could be a additional setup that they've done. So if I want, I can go and say open link in new tab. So I'm just opening that community page up in a second tab. So I can see that. Um, just something to remember that this, my fancy trading bot, whatever, 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 that is your link to your, um, your Octobot. So you can actually go and bookmark that, uh, double moving average trend evaluator. So I think that is a tentacle underneath. Yeah, it says it's a, it's a tentacle. So underneath a, um, a trading mode. So I'm just figure out what trading mode it is under. Um, I'm single strategy evaluator. I'm not actually seeing it here. Um, so the, the one that I've been using and I've been using it with great success is the dip analyzer trading mode. So let's just go and click on that. And it says, uh, that's unsaved settings. So let's go in there and I'm going to go and configure. Yes, I want to leave the page. I want to set this up. Okay, so um, number of sell orders. I leave all of this exactly the same. Um, and it says activation required. Save configuration and restart later. Yes, that's fine. And now I'm going to go back to my profile. Ooh, I see that the video is going to end, so I will continue this in the next video.